Sepsis is a life-threatening condition that occurs when the body's response to an, an infection spins out of control. The immune system becomes activated to produce molecules that instead of helping control the infection, it starts damaging organs. If we do not intervene early, collateral damage of this immune response becomes autodestructive. Sepsis kills 215,000 people in the United States every year. It can happen respecting no gender, no age, and no ethnicity. You know, it can happen to anybody. In fact, if you look at the children who die across the world, about 70% of them, the deaths can be attributed to sepsis. Sepsis is by far the single most important killer that we have in our ICUs worldwide. This is a hidden public health disaster. It's a disease burden that is uh, underappreciated and incompletely captured by our by our current approaches, and it's time to change that. I think that the Marinoff uh, initiative is fundamental. We just concluded a two-day meeting here at the Feinstein Institute, which brought together some 150 scientists and thought leaders in the field of sepsis. Well, what I've heard the last few days, the individuals telling me, well, this is like no other sepsis meeting. For the first time, we brought together here all stakeholders socioeconomists, uh, public health specialists. Caregivers, nurses, doctors, intensive care specialists. People who know how to talk to politicians. The infectious disease people are people in charge of raising public awareness. This was really uh, an important start. To really define this problem of sepsis. We're working on definitions at two levels. One is the definition for the public and the other one is the molecular definition. The disease can masquerade in so many ways that it, recognition is a, a major problem. If we treat it promptly, and we identify it promptly, then we can alter the morbidity and mortality. For that to happen, it requires, however, that sepsis is thought about, that the word is understood and widely spoken by patients, by doctors, by nurses. To allow people to define it, to understand it, that this is an entity that has to be dealt with. It's really an emergency that requires uh, early uh, fluid resuscitation and early antibiotics. We only learned in the last uh, five years or so that there is this golden hour. A golden hour when intervention with fluids and antibiotics can make a life-saving difference. When someone is identified as a potential septic patient, there's a sepsis alert. That activates a, a system of checks and balances. Where pharmacy, nursing, physicians follow systematically an approach to the patient. We are absolutely confident that we can save lives by implementing these standard approaches. Children are dying in so many parts of the world. I think that we have a responsibility because we have the knowledge and we have the resources to do something about it. Also the health economic burden of this disease relatively increases dramatically. So eventually we can influence politicians, you know, legislators and regulatory agencies. We have issued now a call to action to work on speaking with one voice. I think this really makes uh, a difference and uh, creates so much enthusiasm. For the first time I'm here in this global um, uh, vision of sepsis, this has opened our eyes. That this is a target that we have to all work together to, to try to solve. We will be able to mobilize forces, mobilize resources, and begin to reduce the death rate and the disability rate from sepsis. So we created momentum and we created uh, awareness, uh, which is a great thing.